What's your least favorite part of training that you do anyway? Um, for me, definitely fitness training. Um, I, I wouldn't say that's, that's definitely my least favorite, but it's not in the sense that I don't like it. I like training anyway. I like all styles of training, but if I had to choose one session that I really wouldn't like to do, it's fitness training. I think for me, it's just really boring. Um, I don't mind the hard work. I like the hard work. I like the pain. It's just that sometimes those kind of sessions could drag really long and uh, I don't find that much enjoyment in uh, fitness training compared to the rest of stuff. Cool. Um, which venue is your favorite on the tour and why? Uh, for me, by far, is TOC. Um, I've always done well on the glass court right in Grand Central Station. It's a really cool setting. It's got an amazing backdrop, you get quite a lot of passing people walking, just walking past and they, a lot of them are exposed to squash. I think that's quite cool. Um, yeah, and for me, TOC is by far the best and my favorite venue. I'm from New York, so that's, oh, that's the right perfect. answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Who has the best style on the tour? So from the men's yeah. side or the women's side? From the men's side, I think a uh, personal favorite of mine is either James Ustrup or Faris Tisuki for me. Um, I think just the effortless style that they, they kind of they show on court, it's, uh, it's just makes it look so easy. And it's definitely not that easy on court. <laughs> um, on the female side, I'd say I really enjoy watching Salma Hani. She's got an amazing technique, amazing timing on the ball. I think she, when she hits it right, she makes it look so good on there. Um, yeah, for the female side, I think Salma Hani for me. That was supposed to be more about like fashion style, oh, but fashion squash style, style is okay. also good. Fashion style of <laughs> Miguel by far. Oh yeah. In the men's Miguel. Yeah. Um, in the female, I think uh, Rowan's got good style, Rowan L R B. Um, but yeah, male side Miguel. It's uh, no, no contest. <laughs> nice. Um, if you weren't a professional squash player, what do you think you'd be doing otherwise? Uh, He's actually one of my worst questions, or probably most hated questions. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think um, I've always been quite into kind of computer kind of things. Um, I think probably something to do with software development. I think if I'm not into playing squash, but never know, it's, it's a hard one. Yeah, um, thanks. Um, do you have any advice for juniors coming up yeah, um, I think my biggest advice is not to put too much pressure on, on them, on themselves. I think that as juniors, I think the biggest part is enjoying playing squash. I think if you want to have a long career in squash, especially as a junior aspiring to be a professional squash player, I think you really have to enjoy yourself on court. And I don't think there's a lot of benefits to putting too much pressure on yourself to do too well in juniors. I think every tournament is just going there, enjoying your time with your teammates, um, learning, enjoying all the learning process. Um, for me, I think that was one part that I didn't quite enjoy when I was a junior. I put too much pressure on myself. Uh, even though I, had a, I felt that I had a pretty good junior career, I think um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I could have. And looking back, that's one thing I would tell myself. And, and that's the advice I'll give to juniors now. Too much fitness training. Right? Too much fitness training. <laughs> Stress you out. Yeah. Um, so we're coming up on the end of the yeah. year. Um, do you have any reflections from this past year of how you did and maybe things you want to improve going into next year? Yeah, um, I think I started off the year a little bit shaky. I think towards the tail end of last year, I was really coming up um, and kind of establishing myself, uh, myself in the top 20. Um, got to 17 and then I think I had a few few tough losses earlier this year, really close losses to some of the more experienced players on tour. Uh, but I think from the new season onwards, September onwards, I've been quite solid. I think I've been playing really well. Uh, just that I've been coming up against um, the top players a lot in the platinum events. I think um, that has kind of made it tough for me to kind of break through the rankings again, but I feel like I'm definitely getting closer and closer. Um, so I think in terms of my squash wise, I think I've improved quite a lot um, since the summer break and it's just about doing the same thing again, having this kind of after the football club event, just having a few weeks just to look back at my performance and see where I can improve upon um, and just keep doing the same thing because I think I'm definitely in the right direction and it's just a 
just a matter of time. Nice. Yeah. Well, we hope to see it here. Good yeah. luck. Thank you. Thank you. That's good.